completely and utterly with the grenade. But if it hadn't, and that had been our people, we would have lost them. Now hopefully he's not going to miss at this incredibly short range. Good. I think that's probably all the aliens inside there taken care of. We'll start swinging these people, avoiding the proximity grenade that we put down earlier. In order to start sweeping through the, these fields. Now, we know the guy's somewhere over there, so we're going to just take a pot shot. See if we can hit some things, if it allows us to hit something. Just kind of blow up some of that field. No. Nope. Nothing we can do, so we'll just let this clear and carry on. Now the tank can't do much there, but it still gives us a good eye. So what we're going to actually do is going to back up the tank a little bit and turn him, just in case there's a better angle we can get. And these two will just leave as they are. And then we'll double check the alien spaceship, and this time we'll actually go all the way in, just have a little quick circle. Just to make sure there wasn't anything hiding. And there wasn't. So, now what we need to do is keep moving these people up and try and find that last alien. Now, this is where it can start to get a little bit risky because there's just total and upper open area and the alien gets the basically first possible chance because they've got a longer vision than us so they can see us from about another couple of squares away sometimes this is not much that you can do now he's spotted him one way we can reduce risk is by getting someone else to take that shot because if the alien can't see who's taking the shot they can't respond but even though we can't see the alien we can still shoot at the alien as long as there's a clear line of fire. Now one fence, two fences might cause a problem. One fence doesn't always right. That is causing a problem. But what we could do is we could move over to here. You can see about this guy. He might have it because he's standing right next to the fence. Oh, no one. Okay. Can the tank have a shot? Can anybody take a shot anywhere? No? Right. Well then what we've got to do is we've got to advance carefully. And basically we've got to make it up to that fence. It's the only way we're actually going to get to shoot them. And that guy's got a heavy plasma, so really anything we do, if he even gets close to getting a shot, we are pretty much dead. So, he's wandering off around that way. Can we swing around the back? Is that the edge of the map? That is the edge of the map. What we might do then is just blow a hole through the building next turn and be done with it. We'll send him up through this way. Get him to kneel down. And we can move. Aha. Can he take a shot yet? Yes. Oh, so close. Now, one of the great things about these weapons is they're just really, really quite accurate. Now, what I should have done is got him to kneel down because you get an increase in accuracy that way. But we'll see. She trips me. I've got enough to kneel down, grab that little accuracy boost about 5%, and take this last shot. That's taken him down. I think that's the last one. No, there was still alive, because I don't know if you noticed at the end of the last turn, I did hear the door go. So, just on the off chance one of them had become conscious again, 
I made sure that I had that guy turned around. Now normally if they've gone unconscious and lost everything, they'll lose all their equipment so they can't do anything. Now as you can see, Hawkeye's been promoted to captain and everybody else gets to become sergeant. Now let's see. Can't call sergeant, sergeant anymore, Captain Hawkeye. Still doing well with number of missions to kills. Sergeant Red is still sergeant, but we've got a new sergeant here. Now he managed to get a bucket load with grenades. So what we're going to do is call him Sergeant. Ooh, something is a Sergeant Blast. A bit lame, but it helps represents how he actually got that title. He's just a, he's just a sergeant. We'll just call him Sarge. Sometimes somebody's just going to be called straight down Sarge. And no, this is the wrong person. Who's the other one? Ah, oh, yes, here's our other sergeant. Sergeant No One, or Noon, as he might be called. But it's just. Yeah, he became sergeant because he was on that mission and saw a kill. He's got no car kills, so it also fits in. He's killed no one. Doesn't really deserve that title whatsoever. Right, so still got a little bit. We still got plenty of room in stores. Laboratories all still waiting for us. And then. Our ship comes back, so we can start seeing about what we can get rid of. Now we've probably got a load more bodies, a load more weapons that we don't want, but critical thing, alien power source. Oh no, don't get rid of the alien grenades, because they're very, very useful. Unfortunately, we're quite low on heavy plasmas. It's a bit of a shame, because they're quite useful. Is getting a supply of alien alloys. Now, one thing we didn't pick up was the Illyrium. Now, that is going to be useful later on because we shot them down, we weren't able to gather any, but we did get the power source. So, that's another thing that we can research. Now, what we need to do really is get this out of the way, get this heavy plasma because we want the weaponry. Because ultimately, you can kill more with the weapons. Get the weapons out of the way. Then we're going to start doing working on defensing. Because if we can just keep our guys alive, it doesn't matter what they throw at us, we'll get through it. And of course, once we start getting skilled people, we don't want to lose them. Now, this is perfect. We've got a down alien spaceship. We don't want that to escape. So, what we want this time is we want to make sure that we take this. Now, it could well it be a night mission. Hmm. We've got no lieutenant at the moment. We've got a load more rookies. So we'll get some of these rookies out. Try and fill up the earlier ones who are still waiting. We've got, I see, space use, space available. One, two, three, four, five. Take one more. Ah, Lucky's back. We'll take Lucky with us, maybe he'll get a promotion. Then what we'll also do is we will take another rocket launcher. That way we've got that got that to hand, not a rocket launcher, the rocket tank, which has a rocket launcher. We'll take a couple of stun rods, I'm not sure what kind of ship size it was, it was small, no, so there won't be any need. We've got the electro flares, we've got grenades, we've got good weapons, we've got a couple of rocket tanks, we're good to go. Now, considering where that light is, we're not going to make it in time. This is going to be a night mission. But we'll do the best that we can. Well, actually, it might be a twilight mission. What we will do, though, is we will equip all with lasers. Most accurate things that we've got. That is actually a day mission. Nothing off to that side, that's good. We'll go through and just do our first sweep of the area. So, tank sees nothing. 
We'll just start moving the tank down here, make sure that the place is clear for us to bring out our troops. I mean, sure, they're expensive, but tanks can be replaced, they gain no experience, they're there to be destroyed. I mean, later on, you can get hold of the, quite effectively, your own hover tanks. Very, very useful. And the uh, blaster one is just an incredible powerful piece of equipment I mean it's got massive defenses and much like blast launch can lay waste to a ton probably not useful all the time but just when you want to get rid of a really heavy concentration of baddies well worth it <laughs> 